the only thing we're missing now from this diagram is this outside wall here. These walls on the outside are actually corrugated. So we want to add a corrugated material to all of our exterior walls here. So let's go ahead and draw that. There's a bunch of different ways to do this, but I think for us today, we're gonna to do it similar to how we did the roof beams, where we create one object and then copy it and array it along this entire area. So let's go ahead and start that right now. So I'm gonna go back to the white layer here, and what we wanna do is draw a plank or like an object. Bring it down, so I'm gonna hit L for line, bring it down all the way to the ground. Let's draw it at eight inches, just for the sake of convenience. So right now it's exactly the same size as that column. And I'm gonna extrude that, hit P and extrude it two inches. So now we have this little object. I'm gonna make this a component, I, component, create. Now that that's a component, I'm gonna copy it once over. So hit move, control, copy. We should be pretty good at this by now. And there's two of them. So I'm going to group those two objects. So select both of them and hit G for group. So now they're together and we can open up that group and work on just this. So very quickly, we're going to grab this guy. We're going to hit move control for copy and array this. So X, let's say 20. Looks like we need to go more. So X 30. That looks good. Looks like it was 29 was the magic number. So delete that one on the end. Now we're gonna take this one, hit Q for rotate, grab it at some point and spin it around, hit control and spin it around 90 degrees to make a copy. Move this to the end. So what you can see is now we're gonna array it across this direction. Same exact process, hit M for move, hold down control, move it and hit X. Let's just try 100 and that puts us pretty close, a few too many, so let's just erase some of these on the outside. Perfect. 100. We're right there at the correct edge. Back in the group, we're going to rotate this. So grab the corner, rotate 90 degrees. Make sure you hold down the control to copy it. We have this here, just like that. So let's make this last array. If I remember correctly, that should be X29, and it brings us to this edge. It's 30 on this side. Great. So now we have all of that material there to make our corrugation. It looks a little thick right now. I think since they're all components, it's no problem to change all of these guys. So let's push it in one inch. So now it's a little bit thinner. I like that a little bit better. And it's time to create the ribs of that corrugation. So again, because these are all components, we're going to open up one of them, take this line and copy it over, let's say two inches. So now we have one surface here, and one surface here. And what we're gonna do is just push this surface in 0.75, so a quarter of an inch. And what we should have created is this nice kind of vertical siding material that goes around the whole building. We'll refer back to the diagram, and I think it's all there.